I am about to start the through hike of the PCT. I'm at the southern terminus and Mexico's there, Canada's that way. I am so excited. The Pacific Crest Trail. 2,650 miles of pure wonder. Going from Mexico to Canada, through California, the Sierras, Yosemite, Oregon, and finally Washington, five months of living on trail in some of the most beautiful places on this earth. Get ready to leave behind your regular life and swap it for something a lot better. Like Christine Kane said, sometimes when you're in a dark place you think you've been buried, but you've actually been planted. And this was my opportunity to grow. My trail name's Dignity. I wanted to visit America for over a decade and I just can't believe that I'm finally here. Every great thing begins with a first step towards the goal and I've taken mine. I suddenly wish that I started that step 10 freaking years ago, man, but much better late than never, right? If you're wondering what a couple of million steps look like, it's pretty much just this, but a lot more of it. Despite all the hardships, I realized this, this right here was where I want it to be. Because no one really knows what the purpose of life is, so therefore you decide. You! And I decided this was my purpose. It's a lot more than just through hiking though. Meeting the people on trail. This tribe of outdoors loving, challenge undertaking, glorified homeless hiker trash turn out to provide some of the best damn company you'll ever spend time in. At this point I started to wonder, maybe it's not Canada that's the end goal of this journey. Maybe it's to meet the people that are on the journey instead. And just like that, I was almost at the end of the desert section. And at that point, you start to wonder, what has the trail taught me so far? The trail teaches you to throw away any necessities you think you can't live without. If you're brave enough to throw away most of what the modern civilization thinks is a must-have, you'll realize the truth that you can live the happiest five months of your life with just a tent, sleeping bag, and food surrounded by woods and the kindness of people. What scares you is a pretty good indication that you must do that thing you're afraid of next. My second 30 mile day took me 18 hours to hike, with the full moon lighting the way in the last leg. I was experiencing euphoria like never before, feeling the pure joy of being at peace with my world. My world was hiking. I was where I was, not where I thought I should be.
I just got my first glimpse of the Sierras. They are covered in snow. Made it to Kennedy Meadows. I've just passed the mile marker 700. Very chuffed. The Sierras. Especially tough this year because of the hundreds of miles of continuous snow. Everyone talks about it right from the start. Who am I going to go with? Am I going to skip it? Am I going to flip flop? I wanted to at least give it a shot. The Sierras broke me and most of the gear I was carrying, but after 100 miles of mountaineering, you become a hiking machine. You can conquer anything. You and your badass Sierra legs, your attitude as tough as the journey you've been through. 30 mile days are no problem anymore. Yeah, you have to start early some days, but if this is the view that greets you when you wake up, I don't think anyone really minds. 14 hours of walking, it's 2 p.m. It's time to go to bed. I just crossed Evolution Creek, which is supposed to be the biggest water crossing in the Sierras and on the PCT. Once again, the trail shows you that it's not just about hiking in nature. It's about sharing the experience with the people that you meet on the trail, who actually become your friends for the rest of your life. The most wonderful thing about photographing the PCT is that an absolute piece of magical composition will just present itself and out of the hundreds of thousands of attempts a photographer makes in a lifetime to capture the perfect moment, only a few turn out to be truly astonishing. And the best snaps I've taken in my lifetime are right here on the PCT. I got out of the worst of the snow and entered into the John Muir wilderness leading into Yosemite. This is the first couple of miles of genuine trail after 120 miles of almost continuous snow. <laughs> oh my god. It feels good! <laughs> However, now we were battling the snow in a different form. Raging rapid rivers. Scared? Worth it. Cold hands? Worth it. Tired feet? Worth it. Hungry? Worth it. Worth it a hundred times and a hundred times again. You quickly find out the limit of how far you thought you could push yourself was all in your head. For most hikers, the end of the Sierras was where the trail gets easy again. But for me, the trail provided something a little different. I've just arrived in South Lake Tahoe, been airlifted by the sheriff helicopter into South Lake Tahoe Hospital. I see this little snow patch, a uh, little snow bridge and a little river. Uh, I fell through, I fell in the river, I hit my shoulder, dislocated. So I pressed the SOS button on my uh, spot and about two, three hours later a um, helicopter came and dropped me off at the hospital. and. Yeah, I feel really bummed out. They gave me some drugs to help with the pain, but it's 
f***ing painful. Definitely means I can't wear a backpack. I don't care. I'm gonna find a way to get to Canada. I didn't come all this way not to get to Canada just because of my freaking shoulder. So, we'll see what happens. I'll rest up here in South Lake Tahoe. This can't be over. My my high can't be over. I have to get to Canada. I don't care how. I'm, I'm gonna get there on foot. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. So I've just been dropped off at Ebbets Pass, which is around four miles south of where I left the PCT in a helicopter. I'm going to not be able to wear a backpack for six weeks. Through hiking the PCT, I've just done the hardest section. It would be a real shame to give up my dream of walking from Mexico to Canada. So I'm going to continue on the Pacific Crest bike trail. I'm going to query this around until I can wear a backpack again. And then as soon as I do that, I can jump back on trail and finish the rest and hopefully still end up at the Northern Terminus in time for my uh, visa runs out. Yeah, so I'm really grateful for everything and I'm really happy that I'm still here and hiking. Yeah, hopefully I'll make it to Canada. After being through the hardest part of the PCT in the toughest season ever, I was reminded there is always the next level you can push through. But no one would see it as an achievement if it was easy. As the Dalai Lama said, happiness isn't something ready made, it comes from your own actions. So I decided to take the next step, even though my arm wasn't working. What's your bullshit excuse for not living your dreams? So this is Paul McCartney, my noble but stubborn steed that carried my stuff for the next few hundred miles on the Pacific Crest bike trail. Pulling Paul McCartney, I reached the halfway mark. And then shortly after, I reached the second biggest milestone on the trail, which is the California-Oregon border. This whole new way of hiking is proving to be quite difficult, both on the body and mostly on the mind. Not hiking on trail, not doing a through hike, when I've done by far the most difficult section of this through hike, the Sierras. And when I get to the end of it and the snow starts tapering off, mountains start to uh, flatten out. Ah, this happens and I can't wear a backpack for six weeks. I'm gonna keep pushing, I'm gonna get to Canada. At least I'll have the continuous footpath from, from uh, Mexico to Canada, which is nice. Feels indescribable to be back on trail after all that's happened. I'm in Oregon. I can't believe I'm on trail. <laughs> I've been doing like 25 to 35. I've been averaging like 30. I'm really happy with that. So. B 
Being back on trail was like eating after the universe starved you for a couple of weeks. I cleared the state of Oregon in just 16 days. And just like that, I was 500 miles closer to Canada at the Washington border. What you should have with a pointy moustache is a top hat. So uh, I got one of those. It feels like it's the, just this dream that I've been living for the last six months. It feels pretty good to be here, uh, but it feels pretty surreal that the whole trail is gonna finish in like two weeks time. It's not about getting from Mexico to Canada. It's about enjoying what's in between. I made it to Washington just in time for trail days. Maple that I've met in day five in the desert, she's here now again. We're hiking together. The people that you meet on trail is the real Canada. If you're thinking of doing an adventure, later can become never. So go and live your dreams now because great things never actually come from comfort zones. So the harder you work to get there, the more you will feel when you actually do get there. So all you have to do is dream it, believe it, and hike it. I can't believe my adventure was about to finish, but I still had a long while to go. The most that I learned from this trail is that don't be a creature of circumstance. Make your own destiny. You're responsible for everything that you do in your own life, every single choice that you make. So go and make the right choices, starting now. Counting down the miles, you know, um, 200 miles, 100 miles, 50 miles, and last night uh, was the last count. Counting down the, the things that we do for the last time, packing up the tent for the last time, and having the last uh, lunch spot. A good feeling at the same time, it's like, ah, oh, we leave this all behind and I think I'm ready to finish at this point. It was such a pleasure to finish the trail with SOS, who I actually met on day two way back in the desert and kept bumping into him ever since. We could not have planned it better. I made so many friends for life here and I put my heart and soul into this trip and it was all about to finish. <laughs> After leaving Stahican, the last town before the Canadian border, I did my last mile marker dance, mile 2600. I cannot believe this dream was about to finish. Every day it's I go through this roller coaster of emotions where I just don't want to be here anymore. I'm, I'm, I think I've done hiking. I, I am five miles from the border. I get the pleasure to hike with uh, this guy for uh, the last few hundred miles. Uh, so we'll see what the border brings. Yeah.